What's up again, everybody? It's Aaron from RacingDudes.com. And listen, it's it, we, we've had a lot of uh, discussion about the Classic. Now we're going to take a look at the top fives for a couple of other Breeders' Cup divisions as we're starting to kind of iron themselves out. We're starting we're starting to kind of see, um, you know, some clear contenders for each of the divisions as the summer meets, unfortunately, are about through at Del Mar and Saratoga. Let's do the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. That's right, the big-ass fans, I should say. Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Love the sponsorship there. Um, and uh, let's let's just take a look at it. I think it's shaping up to be a pretty good race this season. The tricky thing with this one and, and setting a top five in the last week of August, first week of September, depending on where you watch or when you're watching this, you don't really know who's actually going to be in that race. It's kind of a second tier race to the classic and kind of a an in betweener. It's like I've got a horse and he's not the greatest at six furlongs, but he can't go a mile and a quarter. We'll throw him in the dirt miles. So this has a tendency to change as we get closer to the race and we actually know, okay, he is coming and he's not and, and whatever. So anyway, uh, I've got a list of five here. I'll start with number five on the list. I put Stiletto Boy at number five. He, to me, he is one that fits the dirt mile. He's not good enough to run in the classic and really make much of an impact, especially if that field holds together this year. It's really a loaded bunch. He can fit here. And he always runs a pretty solid race. From a class standpoint, I think he fits. So I put Stiletto Boy at number five. I kind of think he's going to be all right uh, if they drop him down to the dirt mile. Number four, I have Mind Control on the list. Listen, we've seen Mind Control jump up and run pretty good races uh, in big, big time spots. We've also seen some inconsistencies with him as well. He was in the Charlestown Classic last time out. That's a little too long for him. I don't blame him for taking a shot, though. Don't get me wrong. It's a little too long for him. I think a mile going to fit him pretty well. That's definitely where I think he's going to go. So I've got mind control at number four. Number three, Laurel River, kind of an up-and-comer for Bob Baffert. Um, you know, won the Pat O'Brien uh, last Saturday. That's actually a Breeders' Cup win and you're in for the mile. And he did it pretty well. He beat a, uh, you know, a pretty solid field. He beat American Theorem, who had won uh, the Bing Crosby earlier in the meet. He also beat Speaker's Corner, but he did not run very well at all. He kind of just didn't show up. So Laurel River, Bob Baffert, nice win. Uh, definitely deserves that next, uh, you know, you know that next race being uh, the final prep for a race like the Breeders' Cup Mile. I think it makes a ton of sense for him. Number two is Art Collector. I hope they send Art Collector to the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. I think that's a perfect spot for him. I think the Classic is tough, uh, you know, and I, I don't think he's quite to that level. But the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, I think it's perfect for Art Collector. Really hoping they send him to that race. Uh, he dusted those horses in the Charlestown Classic for the second year in a row. He looked really good in a stakes race at Saratoga the race before. So he's kind of coming back in form a lot like last year. I think the Dirt Mile would be a great spot for our collector. I've got him at number two. Oddly enough, another a Bill Mott trainee. So the Bill Mott horses will be one and two in this list. And it's number one. Cody's Wish is number one for me. Pending, where do you really run him? You could back him up to six furlongs and run him in the sprint. You could do that. I think six furlongs is a little sharp for him. I don't really think that's his optimal distance. I think if the forgo was six furlongs, he may have lost last Saturday. That seven furlongs hit him right between the eyes. He was fantastic. I think a mile will be fine for Cody's wish. If he can kind of keep going, keep that form that he's got right now and hold it all the way uh, to November, he will be very tough in a race like the dirt mile. So I've got Cody's wish at number one right now. And again, like I said at the first, with the dirt mile, it's kind of pending when these or where these horses will actually go. They could go to the sprint with Cody's Wish as well. But I think the dirt mile fits him perfectly. So Cody's Wish, number one for me. We'll see if he shows up. So that's it for the dirt mile. That's what we've got right now, or for right now, I should say. I'll be back once we get some updates. Uh, maybe not weekly, but once we get some idea of who exactly is going to run, get some more winning your in races for this division, I'll be back with updates for you guys. So thanks, everybody, for watching the first uh, edition of the Top 5 for the Dirt Mile. Um, and, and hopefully, like I said, these horses run in the race, <laughs> first and foremost. So thanks, everybody, for watching. You know, hit like if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. want to be alerted when these videos come out. So thanks, everybody, and we'll see you for the next one.